Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 10 and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about the new video tag in HTML5. Again, this tag is new to HTML5 so there could be some issues um, regarding browser support. Okay, so some users that are using older browsers might not have support for this video tag so just keep that in mind uh, when using this video tag uh, okay so to add a video tag onto the web page we're obviously just gonna put in our two little symbols for our tag and we're gonna type in video okay and this is a double tag so we're actually gonna close it off as well and in between here I'm going to put in another tag which is uh, the source tag okay and uh, as you can see this is very much the same as in the previous tutorial when we added some audio to our web page okay so the one thing we have to do now uh, is just in case the user is using an old browser that does not support this video tag we are going to have to leave them a message so if we type a message in over here, if the video tag works, the user won't see this message. But if the video tag doesn't work, in other words, they have an old browser, then the user is going to see this message. So let's just say, if you can see this, you need to update your browser. Okay. Okay, so now we've got all the tags and uh, this message out the way, there are still a few attributes that we have to uh, work with, okay? So the first one is the source attribute, and we actually have to tell HTML what video we plan on using in this video tag, okay? So I've actually got this uh, video here, it's an MP4, and I suggest you use MP4s because they are probably the most widely supported video type. So we're going to uh, just use this uh, LOL gameplay video. So let's go back here and type that in. Uh, LOL underscore gameplay dot MP4. Now uh, I should probably close that off as well. There's another attribute which we can use here called type. And uh, basically what type has to be set equal to uh, is just what type of video are we using, okay? We just need to tell the browser what video it should be expecting. And it's obviously gonna be a video uh, slash MP4, okay? Because the video is an MP4. So we're just gonna say, hey, Firefox, listen up expect to mp4 okay now there are still a few other attributes uh, that we need to work with okay so we're gonna put those up here in the video tag and the first one is going to be the width uh, of what we want the video to display as okay so YouTube actually uses 640 as the width so I'll use 640 on my uh, video as well and for height we can set that equal to 360 so this is just gonna make sure that the video is 640 pixels wide and 360 pixels high okay and that's pretty much the same size as the normal video on YouTube okay uh, and then we've got one other attribute which we need to uh, work with at the moment and that is the controls attribute uh, without this we wouldn't be able to play our video at all okay so let's go ahead and save this now okay and run this in Firefox and as you can see uh, we've got this video over here and uh, there's a little play button and whatever so we've got some controls here okay if we didn't include this controls attribute so let me go ahead and take this out uh, go back here again click refresh 
now you can see we don't have any control so we have no way of starting this video so we actually need that controls attribute okay uh, unless we want to make our own controls but then we need to know a little bit of JavaScript first okay so let's go ahead and click refresh and uh, as you can see we've got uh, the controls back so when I click play the video will start playing Haha, I know you're there. What? Okay, so that's just uh, me talking while I was playing League of Legends. Now, there are two other attributes uh, that we can use. Okay, so let me go back here and just add those in as well. And the first one is going to be autoplay, and the next one will be loop. Okay, so what autoplay does is it just means that as soon as the user loads the web page the video must start playing okay and loop loops the video so as soon as the video gets to the end it's gonna start at the beginning again and carry on going okay so loop might be kind of annoying for some people because once they finish watching the video they're probably not gonna want to watch it again but autoplay um, on YouTube if you go to a, uh, if you click on a video the usually the video always plays uh, automatically so uh, they would then be using an autoplay uh, attribute on their videos okay so let's go uh, back to Firefox now uh, and when I click refresh because we've got the autoplay attribute this video will start playing uh, as soon as the video or as soon as the page has loaded so let me click refresh and uh, as you can see <laughs> as you can see uh, the video actually played okay now if I fast forward this right to the end and then I let it play again uh, then it should start again from the beginning because we have the loop attribute as well Okay, so as you can see it uh, went from the end right back to the beginning So that's what loop does Okay, so you don't actually have to use uh, All of these attributes uh, controls. I would recommend you use that for now until Maybe we learn some JavaScript uh, But for now just always use controls Autoplay and loop you don't have to use both of them. You can just use one or the other uh, but I just show them to you both to save time. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, guys. That's all I have for you in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.